Amid an escalating trade war, robotics firms in China and the U.S. are accelerating their efforts to mass deploy their AI-powered humanoids. During these uncertain times, the most advanced humanoid robots are heading into homes and entering the boxing ring, while rising startups introduce their next-generation models. In the West, One X's Neo Gamma humanoid robot just made its TED Talk debut during a conference themed Humanity Reimagined. One X Technologies founder Bernd Bornich delivered a keynote presentation highlighting the robot's advanced features like AI powered speech recognition, human like movements, and autonomous navigation. The startup, which was founded in Norway and is headquartered in Sunnyvale, plans to deploy its Neo Gamma robots in a limited number of homes in 2025. The earliest testers are 1X employees who've shared clips of the robots performing household chores on social media. 1X plans to scale production of its humanoids in 2026 with a goal of manufacturing 100,000 units by 2028 and scale into the millions from there. In a recent interview with the New York Times, Bornich discussed the startup's plans for deploying its humanoid robots into homes. For early adopters, human teleoperators will likely stand in as a backup until the robots learn enough to operate on their own. They're exploring using call centers where human operators would remotely guide the robots in real time, especially during complex or unfamiliar tasks. With this approach, the robots would learn from human demonstrators and gradually become more independent over time. Another California startup, Westwood Robotics, just unveiled the second iteration of its flagship humanoid robot. Standing 1.6 meters, or about 5 feet 2 inches, Themis V2 boasts 40 degrees of freedom. V1 had 36. According to Westwood, the robot's dexterous manipulation and precise control capabilities are greatly improved with more flexible arms, advanced hands, and smooth, human-like motion powered by their custom actuators. An additional body-mounted stereo camera enhances its perception, while up to 200 tops of onboard AI computing power supports advanced navigation and real-time decision-making. Based in Los Angeles, Westwood Robotics was founded in 2018 by a team of roboticists from Robotics and Mechanisms Laboratory at UCLA. The startup introduced the original Themis humanoid robot in 2024. Westwood says its general-purpose humanoid robot is intended for uses like logistics support, inspection and monitoring service roles, and as a research and development platform. Meanwhile in China, Shanghai-based Fourier just unveiled its new fully open-source humanoid robot, the N1. Standing 1.3 meters, the robot joins China's growing array of short humanoids like the Unitree G1, the PM1 by Engine AI, the T1 by Booster Robotics, the Linkshi X2 by Agibot, and the N2 by Noetics Robotics. The company hasn't disclosed pricing but other short Chinese humanoids cost from under $6,000 to over $30,000. Fourier announced the N1 with footage of the robot playing soccer, suggesting it's intended for competitions like RoboCup. Fourier's flagship humanoid, the full-sized GR2, is priced in the six figures. Fourier says the N1 can reach speeds up to 3.5 meters per second or about 7.8 miles per hour. At that pace, the robot would finish a 5K race in about 23 minutes, which is above average compared to human runners. It's also almost as quick as the world's current fastest bipedal humanoid robot, the Star One by Beijing's Robot Era. The new Fourier robot features a swappable back-mounted battery for more than two hours of continuous operation. The robot is part of Fourier's Nexus open source ecosystem matrix project, which provides developers access to the humanoid's hardware schematics, assembly instructions, bill of materials, and basic operating software. The new robot is compatible with NVIDIA's Groot N1, the world's first open foundation model for generalized humanoid robot reasoning and skills. The model has been trained on a diverse data set, including real robot trajectories, human videos, and synthetic data. Another leading Chinese robotics firm, Unitree, is busy preparing for a robot boxing match. 
The Hangzhou-based company just shared this footage of its short G1 humanoids preparing for the event titled Iron Fist King Awakening. Unitree said relatively safe new features will be released gradually via over-the-air updates. They urged caution, saying operating humanoid robots can be challenging as the technology evolves. The G1 can be controlled with motion capture, remote control, or voice command. The combat will air live in about a month. If robot boxing becomes a thing, it would be a step toward a world like the future the 2011 movie Real Steel envisions. In the Sean Levy film, robotic boxers replace humans in the ring. They engage in gladiator-style boxing matches, teleoperated by humans. Unitree introduced the G1 in May 2024. As of late, the company has been sharing frequent updates showcasing the humanoids' improved dancing and martial arts capabilities. Another prominent Chinese robotics firm, EX Robot, is taking a radically different approach as it aims to mass-produce its hyper-realistic androids. For more on that, check the related video.